Okay, this video is designed to show you how to remove uh, the Norton Antivirus icon from your system tray when it's been duplicated. I can show you down here. I'm going to click on something here for a minute. Uh, here, the problem that I had was in here there's a little glare, but I had that yellow, that's the Norton icon. I had two of those here in my system tray, and I needed to know how to remove uh, one of them. It should have had two. And the way you do that is you go over uh, to your Start menu. Um, let me pull back a little bit. Go over to your Start menu, and you type in uh, the code uh, Rigidit is how I pronounce it. It's R E G E D I T. And that should bring up that file. And here it is. Now I'm going to click on it. Okay. Now my computer is asking me to allow access. And I'll click yes. Okay. And here's what's popped up. Now this is what I want to go through. And it's recommended that you back up your system registry uh, before doing this uh, because you could cause a lot of problems. Uh, I've already done this, so I'm not going to go through the final step. Uh, so we begin by looking here. Uh, let me focus this up. The first thing I want to do is find the H key current user, which is right here. It's highlighted, okay? And now I want to click on that to open it up. Okay, see it opened up. The next thing I want to do is click on uh, software. Let me find software right here. See it says software. Now I need to open that up. Okay, and I'm going to open up software. Okay, after software has been opened up, I need to find classes in that subfile. And here we have classes. Okay, and I'm going to click on that and open classes. Okay, now classes has been opened. The next thing I do is look for local settings in that uh, sub files. And it's down here, right here I found it. You have to go down some to find that. But here's local settings, okay? Now I'm going to click on local settings. Okay, and two uh, sub files open up from that. Now I'm going to click on the one that says software. Okay, that's here, click, and Microsoft uh, pops up, and I'm going to click on Microsoft, and it says Windows, and I'm going to click on Windows, and I have three subsets here, and now I'm going to click on Current Version, okay, Current Version. Okay, and in the conversion, I'm going to click on Tray Notify. Okay, now when I clicked on Tray Notify, these files appeared. And it's these files that I have to work with. Uh, the first thing I want to do when this popped up is click on the icon streams. That's this here, icon streams. Okay, click, I'm going to double click on this. Okay. I've done that. When I double click, you see the codes here. Now what I need to do is what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click my here on my mouse, right click my mouse, and then I will select all. Okay, once I select all, and you'll see it highlighted. Let me do this. I'll cancel it, but I won't go through the full process. I'll select all. And now what I will do is what you should do then is click OK, excuse me, strike that. You will now hit delete on your uh, keyboard, and that will delete the files. And once they're deleted, then you will click OK. Now, I'm, I've canceled, uh, I'm going to cancel that because I've already gone through that step. Okay, so once you've done the icon stream, deleting the files in that or the code in that, you next want to go down to the past uh, con stream here, this, where it says, uh, that's uh, 
past one con stream. I'm not certain what that stands for, but you want to click on that. Okay, pops up and you want to repeat that step, uh, i.e. Uh, right click your mouse, select all, and then hit your delete button on your keyboard. And once it's deleted, you click OK. I'm going to cancel it again. I've already done that step. Once you have done that, uh, you now need to just simply close the uh, register editor, which I'm going to do here. I'm just going to shut it down now. And then you need to uh, reboot uh, your system. And once you reboot, uh, that uh, what the system does is it rebuilds the tray. Let me go over here for a second. It rebuilds this tray, and and uh, so that it only includes uh, those uh, icons that should appear. And that's how you will get rid of uh, one of the or Norton uh, 360 antivirus uh, icons. Hope that would be of help for you.